starting with OCalc Pro 5, there is an additional attention mode available to persons putting spans on. So um, previously we had static tension, which in, you know basically applies a fixed amount of tension and you have to adjust it. We have sag to tension mode and tension to sag mode. And then now, in starting with OCalc Pro 5, we have table-driven mode. And in table-driven mode, what you can do is actually populate onto your spans in your catalog your stringing tables. And then as you adjust the length of your spans, the tension applied is basically driven by whatever the length you've set the span to is. So let's take a look at that. I go in and I set my tension type to tabular mode. Now you'll see that the the static tension block grays out and the tension table um, block lights up. And if I click that value, here is in fact my tension table. And you can see, so basically um, the minimum value of tension I would get in this particular case is 500 pounds. Everything between 0 and 125 feet is linearly interpolated between 500 and 900. Uh, between 125 and 250, 900 to 1500, so on and so forth. But I can adjust these values. So for example, if I want this to be something lower, like 700, I can lower that down. And then I can, if for very long spans, I can say, no, I want to go up towards a much higher value. So something like 5,000. And I adjust my table like that. I can insert points. So if I pick here and then I say I want to add a point, it inserts one between the two, splits the difference. I can edit both these values. Uh, it linearly interpolated between the two points I already had, but if for some reason, I can't imagine why you do this, but let's just say this was 2300 and I wanted my tension table to look like that, the system will totally do it. Once I've got it all set up, I say save, and now that is in fact the tension that will be applied um, based on the length that I set this to. So let's take a look here. Here I've got a length of... Um, uh, I've got a length of 305 feet, and it's currently applying a tension of 2,028. If I go ahead and I change this length down to something like 150, as we know before, since we set the table, if I now go, let it calculate through once, and look, it's now applying 1525. So basically it lets you uh, populate your stringing tables right into your catalog data, and then from then on, when you use those spans in any modeling, you get your stringing table or your attention applied table data applied directly to those spans. And you can dynamically change the attention applied without having to constantly go in and look it up manually yourself and change it.